The bead and knot necklace is a super fun project. This is great for a beginner sewer and it uses wooden beads inside to give it a neat look. So there's beads and knots. So we'll start with a really long tube of fabric and it's just very simple sewing. The bead and knot necklace requires about a fat quarter of fabric and then we need some wooden beads or wooden circles. Um, these are three quarter inch, but you can also get five eighths inch. You need 10 or 12 of these. And then we'll use a safety pin for this too to turn the tube. So the first step is to get yourself a piece of fabric that's 68 inches long by four and a half inches wide. So that's pretty long. Um, so what I did is I used a fat quarter and cut it into four and a half inch strips and then pieced them together. You don't have to use a fat quarter, but a fat quarter works just perfectly. And then we're gonna press the seam allowances open where those strips were sewn together. And then once you've done that, we're gonna turn this strip into a tube. So I like to just fold it in half lengthwise and press it to hold it. Um, you don't have to press it, you can just pin. And then if you do press it, you kinda don't need to pin, but you can if you want to. Once you've pressed and pinned that whole length, we're gonna sew this up on the side where the raw edges are, 3 8 inch from the raw edges. So leave both of those short ends open when you sew the side. And now we have a really long tube. Um, you do not have to clip the seam allowance on this project because we want it to be a little bulky for the effect of the bead and knot necklace. So now take your safety pin and put it on the folded edge of one of the short edges of the tube. And then we'll use this safety pin to guide the fabric tube right side out. So just stick it on there and then push it through and you can use the uh, head of that safety pin to guide your tube through itself. Okay, so once you have done that, it's really long too, but once you've gotten that right side out, you can take your safety pin out. Then we're gonna press this with the seam allowance on the back, just kind of centered on one side of this tube.
Okay, now we're going to finish one edge of this by folding under a half an inch of fabric on that raw edge. And then we'll press that. And then I'm going to put two pins in it and we're going to top stitch this. So you're going to top stitch it really close to the edge, about an eighth of an inch from those folded edges, and then back stitch on both sides of that. Now with that edge sewn, we're gonna measure 11 inches from the edge, and this is where our first knot's gonna go. So just measure, it doesn't have to be totally perfect, just measure roughly and put our first knot in, and then this extra length will be what we tie the necklace with later. So we're starting on the closed edge, tie a knot 11 inches from it and then we're going to insert one bead into this tube and we're going to get it all the way down to the to that knot we just made so put a bead in and then make it go where'd it go huh, there it is okay we're going to push it all the way down and once your bead is right up against that knot we're going to tie another knot kind of get the knot close to that bead, which can be a little tricky. Okay. Now we're just going to repeat that process until we've used up 10 or 12 beads. Once you start nearing the end of your tube, you're going to want to kind of have at least about eight inches of extra without a bead or not so that we can tie it. So that might change the number of beads you put in just based on how big your beads are or how tight your knots are. So we're going to go ahead and finish this other side by folding under half inch like we did on the first side, press it, and then we'll top stitch. And you just want to make sure your last thing before we do this is a knot so that the bead doesn't move around. So top stitch this side. Once you've top stitched your necklace is done and we're just going to tie the tops together and this should be big enough to slip over your head so you don't need any kind of closure. Um, but just make a cute little bow at the top by knotting it. And that is your necklace. You're all done.